Welcome to NHL 20 and thanks for watching. Today we are going to learn how to do the hip check. Now there's only two buttons you really need to push but unfortunately you got to do some other stuff with it uh, to make it work. In other words it's kind of nuanced. So we're going to take a look at that in just a minute here. We will also learn how to do this move for both the PS4 and the Xbox One, obviously I have a PS4, so let's go ahead and get started. To execute this move, we're simply going to press in the R3 button, that's this button right here, press it in, while at the same time, press L1, and uh, we, oh no, we don't get it here. What's going on here? Somebody said that's a, like a crouch block? We're supposed to have a, we're supposed to have... A hip check what's going on here we just got a penalty something's not right so what exactly isn't right here well let's go into practice mode and uh, find out so here we are in practice mode on the left we're practicing the crouch block by just pressing l1 on the right we're pressing both r3 and l1 at the same time and if you'll notice they look exactly the same. There's like no difference. So the question is, what gives? Now, of course, if you remember earlier, we had several different successful hip checks. So what exactly is wrong here? What is missing? Well, in addition to pushing these two buttons at the same time on your controller, you need to have two other things. First, you need speed. Second, of course, you need to time this thing right. We can't be whiffing. you got to time it just right. Now, to get speed, of course, you can uh, skate by holding down this L2 button right here. Alternatively, if you want to skate faster, you can press it in like you press in uh, the R3 button. Press in L3 that way and uh, push it forward and you'll slowly accelerate to, to gain more speed. And, of course, if you get the time down, you get a nice hip check like this guy does right here. You'll also notice uh, your player will go into a spin move when you press this correctly. As some of you may have figured out, I have the PS4 version of this game. A question some of you may have as well is, what controls do we use for the Xbox One? And that's a good question. To answer that question, I went ahead and got the PDF instruction manual for the Xbox One. We're going to go ahead and fast forward to page 11 here, and we're looking at uh, defense, specifically the part with the skill stick. And uh, we're looking at the spot right here that says hip check. Uh, I got my hand right there. And basically all you need to do is push in the R button, that's equivalent of R3, and push the LB button at the same time. Of course, you're going to need to have good timing. And, uh, you know, got to have some speed before you make that hit. And if you can put those two elements together, you're going to have a nice hip check as well on the Xbox One. Now that you have the controller mechanisms down, there's a couple things you may want to consider. Uh, the first is that attempting this in open ice is the most risky spot. It doesn't mean we can't succeed. It just means that if we miss, we're likely to give up a goal. Or at least an odd man rush, which will result in a lot of bad spots. For the best of luck, it's uh, best to attempt this along the boards, preferably, of course, in our own offensive end. Uh, we can try it on the defensive end. We just got to make sure we're covering all the players defensively as we do not want to allow open shots on net. And as long as you keep those two things in mind, you should uh, have some good success and uh, a lot of fun with this. And, of course, that is going to wrap this up. I am heading out. I would like to thank you for watching and uh, wish you good luck.